Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video showing you how to get free Wi-Fi hotspot on your rooted Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, I do have a video showing you how to root it. I will link to it in the description of the video if you have not done so. Uh, obviously, I am. I go to my app drawer. You'll see super user in my app drawer right there. So now, all you have to do is you can actually go to your Play Store, and we're going to need to download an app called, uh, I guess you can just type in Tether. Um, just call it, just type in Tether. It's actually really, uh, it comes up pretty much always. So you'll see Wi-Fi Tether for root users right there. Tap on it and hit install. I will uh, post a link to where you can get this in the Play Store in the description. So you'll see it's called Wi-Fi Tether for root users. It uh, downloaded right away. I'm going to go ahead and install it as well. You'll see it popped on my home screen. Now, all you have to do is, of course, I'm connected to 3G. I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and go into the application. I'm going to close that. You can do donate if you would like to. All right, and once in the application, there are a couple things I actually recommend doing. First of all, press the menu button and go into settings. Um, and we are going to need to do a couple things that I did to get working. It uh, took me a little bit to figure it out, but what I did was uh, selected change device profile, and I'm on my Sprint Galaxy S3. I had to scroll down and select Samsung Galaxy Nexus, CDMA LTE. Uh, that is what worked for me. Again, um, it, it might be different for the GSM. You might want to select GSM one if you are on AT&T or T-Mobile. Uh, but otherwise, um, I selected Samsung Galaxy Nexus CDMA LTE. You can try other ones um, as long, along with generic, generic ICS. You can try all of those. But what I got to work with Samsung Galaxy Nexus CDMA LTE. Um, another thing I'm also going to recommend is enable Wi-Fi encryption. What that's going to do is allow you to set a passcode to connect to your, uh, basically to connect to your Wi-Fi hotspot. So it needs to be between 8 and 30 characters long so I can do something like QB King. 77 and hit OK. So there's my passcode. Um, that's my passphrase. That's what I'll need to type in. And there we have it. So now what I should be able to do is tap this icon and it should start tethering. You need to allow it super user permissions, of course. And it's going to go ahead and start your tethering. And it says, please wait while starting. Looks like it's taking a little bit of time. And there we go. So now uh, it looks like it should be broadcasting a signal now. Uh, what we can do now is actually go to our PC. All right, and on my PC you will see I'm not connected to any network, but you do see Android Tether right here. Um, so you'll see Android Tether. Uh, what you can do is just hit connect, and it should say type in that network security key, which of course is QB King 77 and then hit OK. Um, you, obviously, you don't need to set a passcode if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. That's just what I recommend. It looks like your phone did vibrate, and it recognizes that Tim PC is connected right there. Um, so it did recognize it, uh, and now it should say connected, and it did. So it looks like connected. Um, I should be able to try it out, so let's go ahead and open up my browser. All right, open up a new window. You'll see I am still connected to Android Tether over here. We can just go ahead and try and load up acsyndicate.net. And while it loads up, you'll see that uh, it's got numbers under download and upload, letting you know how much it has uh, basically sent out. And it looks like it's loading it up. Obviously, it's not going to load up as fast as your Wi-Fi connection, of course, because you are on 3G. So it depends on your 3G signal and speeds. And there we have it. So loading it up, working great, free Wi-Fi wireless hotspots on your Samsung Galaxy S3 device. That would be how you do it. So there it is. Um, if you have any questions, run into any problems at all, feel free to ask to stop. All you have to do is tap that icon and hit allow super user permissions and it will stop your tethering. And there you have it. So that would be it. That's how you get free Wi-Fi hotspot tethering on your Samsung Galaxy S3. Be sure to leave a comment. Hopefully this worked. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.